He's a descendant of Scottish royalty. He's a freshman in journalism and mass communications, which means he won't have a job later. <laughs> His name is Chris Cox. Give it up, Chris Cox, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Who here's wasted? Be honest. Be honest. Easier. So, yeah, in case uh, you can't notice, I'm a ginger. Yeah. Or should I say a ginger? Because I think ginger itself, you know, that's hateful. You know, there's been years of oppression with that word. Okay. But if, you know, I say, hey, what up, my ginger? It's all cool. Because the A, the A means it's okay. Remember that, because it rhymes. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm ginger, and I love it. Uh, and I be white, I should crap a little. So, yes. It's funny because white people suck at rapping. So anyways, I uh, came up with this little ditty, and I hope you enjoy it. If you don't, too bad, because I still got four more minutes. <laughs> You might be throwing it around when we do your It's orange, man. Don't hate because I can't tan. Oh. Said, yo, it's our word. It's a world. It's a pain. Only being able to go outside for eight hours a day. Sorry about that last verse, but nothing rhymes with orange. It's just the way the dictionary puts us in our place. There's only one word for the ginger race. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the spitting. Uh, splash seating, by the way, in case you didn't get your ponchos. I'll continue with my rap. You might be saying that my claims are off basis. You ever gone outside when the sun is racist towards you, your crew, everybody you know? So you just got to grab a bottle of aloe vera, rub it on till the pain subsides. Now you know the true cost when a ginger go outside. We bathe in an SBF 175 just so our skin won't be burning us alive. Thanks for listening to my ginger rap, maybe. Now you will be giving a crap about us. Not caring how we're whiter than Marilyn Manson. Don't care how I'm white boy dancing. What? Yeah, yeah, I know I'm whiter than white. You want to know a sad fact? I glow under a black light. Yeah, what up, Ames, Iowa? Crap, there's still two minutes left. No, Visha's, Visha's fun. You know, who, who laughed at that? Is that, who, was that, is it not fun? Are you not having fun currently? That's good, that's good, because if not, I probably would have done nothing. I don't know you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's very interesting. I live in Linden, and we have a very uh, vocal group of people that live there, especially when they're drunk. Thursday nights, it's kind of like Katrina in Linden Hall. We had a... Uh, we had one, one night, uh, I go into the bathroom, and I find out that the stall door's been ripped off and thrown through the window. <laughs> Which was interesting to me, because either there's a claustrophobic hulk that hates pooping in tiny boxes, <laughs> or someone just really doesn't, you know, want to have any kind of privacy. <laughs> it's actually so crazy, I'm almost impressed. Because, not that I've ever tried to do that, because vandalism is bad, kids. Vandalism bad. Not that I've ever tried to rip that off, but I think it would be quite a feat, especially if the reason you're in the bathroom is probably because you have to use it. And most of your muscles are already tightened as it is. So how can you rip it off? I just don't know. Real quick, uh, I teach Sunday school at my, uh, in my church, and it's pretty cool. I teach two-year-olds. Um, I like to think they teach me more than anything, mainly about how to stay in the lines while coloring. Now, people ask, you know, Chris, do you do Sunday school because you're a good person? No, I do it because I like a good excuse for drinking juice and eating animal crackers. And I don't want to look weird with crayons. I'm pretty tough on the kids, though, uh, whenever, they're, whenever they're coloring stuff in. I'll, I'll let them know if it sucks, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, but Jesus didn't have a pink coat. No, there weren't purple elephants on the ark. 
Because I don't want them to get their hopes up and try and apply for uh, art school because I don't want them to get rejected. And real quick, you know someone who f- didn't get accepted into art school? Hitler. And that was one heck of a tantrum. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You've been great. <laughs>